Alrighty, time for Big Blue himself, Gordon. To be honest, Gordon is one of my favorite characters ever to be created by the Reverend W. Audrey. Now you may wonder, why? Well, despite his mostly being about his very serious counterpart, his character in the books is incredible, seeing his life from a new modern day pompous express engine to becoming more older and humble. Which is shown in the last very series book, where Gordon finally retires from the Walton Wester and moves on to more slower trains. However, when Gordon retired from the express, of course, there are going to be those that will like it and don't like it. However, there are those that believe that he doesn't fully retire or is just taking a back seat, being said he's handling another train similar to the Express. So today, I'll be discussing why his retirement from the Walt Norwester may have been the best for him. Where a journey begins, there's always some kind of ending to this exact journey. Now, regardless of whether or not you follow the TV show or the books, these stories always have a start and an end. Gordon, in my eyes, is the representation of the beginning of life and its end. Seeing him mature and grow throughout the books is very interesting and compelling since we learn more and more about him, how he sees the world, how he acts, and how he behaves, and how those attributes change as he gets older and older. This is very relatable in real life, since one thing that machines and humans have in common is that they don't last forever. Sure, they have different spans throughout their lives, since machines can last up to 20 or 40 years, depending on how long they are maintained for, while humans, they live as long as they can. And this is something I find really relatable about Gordon. He doesn't stay as the cocky, big blue express engine. No, he actually ages throughout the stories as the years go by and as time changes. Gordon growing and maturing and him eventually retiring from the Express enforces a fact about life itself, that not everything lasts forever, and at some point of time, an end will come. And Gordon's end with the Express was here when Pip and Emma came to take over, and when he was demoted into slower trains. While some people understand what it meant by Gordon retiring, there are some that do not, since some believe that Gordon retiring means he's doing nothing. Well, that's not really the case. It's just that Gordon's been demoted to more slower trains after Pip and Emma join. Not to mention him being retired from the Express is meant to show that he's all grown up mentally and that he's not that same cocky Express engine he was back in like say the 1920s to 60s. And this is kind of why I like Gordon retiring from the Express and I why I think it's best for him since it's a big step in his character growth and it also shows that some things do in fact come to an end. Now, there are some people that say that Gordon should stay on the Express as long as he lives, but we've seen it in some stories from Christopher. Despite what you want to say about Christopher's stories, we do see Gordon struggling with the Express. Even though he's made from pieces of metal, that metal can wear out. And Christopher shows that very well, especially in some situations where Gordon blew up black smoke from his funnel passing through the station where Tom Hat was, when he suffered from wheel slip. And even though he is trying to open challenges in this book of Gordon the high speed engine, it still shows that Gordon was not what he used to be a long time ago. And I really like these stories because it shows how much Gordon is at his limit and how it foreshadows he will not be on the Express forever. This was something I was hoping to get to in this video because something to note is that regardless about Thomas Engine being a book series about talking trains, it's set in a parallel world to ours with real life logic, albeit with talking vehicles having faces. Because the railway series is set in a real life parallel like universe to ours, it means it has limits of its own. Gordon is no exception. His condition, his age, his design has limits especially as time goes on. And honestly, with a new timetable that Northwest Railway introduced, I don't think Gordon would be able to kill that timetable because of his condition in the later 2000s. And if Gordon was to continue pulling the Express to like say the 2000s, for example, the railway would likely go under because the Northwestern Railway, it's not just a simple railway that as many people think. No, it's an actual company that makes revenue and need to stay competitive to make that revenue. And LNER A1 is no longer suitable for them by the 2000s, so it made sense that they retire Gordon and get Pip and Emma because Gordon, if he had gone through the new timetable, would have pushed his limits too hard. And it could likely result in 
well, maybe some damage, I think. Overall, this is probably best for Gordon because, like, what? He's a hundred and something years old by 2024. And really, I think he's exhausted from the Express because not only is he limited physically, but mentally as well. So really, it was best that he retired from the Express. Speaking of which, let's get to that point. As much as I agree that Gordon should retire from the Express, I have my own personal opinion on what he should be demoted onto. So, to get this straight, I don't think retiring him to the local is a good idea. Like, yeah, the local is a passenger train, and it is handed out to many engines on the main line, as well as some branch lines, but Gordon... Gordon would have a hard time trying to adjust to them, especially when he's used to handling very, very fast trains like the Walton Wester. So really, I think what's best for him to retire to, instead of just retiring him to the local, maybe he could have been retired to taking tourist trains, like his brother Flying Scotsman, since in real life, Flying Scotsman does take tourist trains at a very fast pace. Or maybe he could help Bear with the Limited, since we don't know too much about it and it'd really be nice to know more about it, and maybe to see how Gordon runs on it, since they go at speeds that he'd probably get used to. Or maybe his retirement could play out like this video here by NWR58, where he does try out on the local, but it didn't work, but then handles another service similar to the Express, but doesn't require him to push himself so much. Anyways, let's get on to final thoughts. To be honest, Gorn's retirement from the Walton Wester and the Express is probably best for Big Blue himself. Even if he had continued to be on the service for, say, a few more years, he would have likely ended up in a very battered state that's way worse than a simple breakdown. And him retiring really shows how far he has come from being a Big Blue pompous jerk to a more older, humbler locomotive and develops. And that's what I like about Gordon. And with him retiring from the Express at the end of the Railway series, it really hits hard. I think Unlucky Tug says this best. Gordon is this series' representation of life, the symbolic start and end. Through him, we experience the eagerness and fearlessness and scrapes of young adulthood to the harsh reality of getting old and that you will meet an end someday. Life is a beautiful thing that no one truly understands until the end, full of moments high and low, with every person you meet along the way shaping the journey. And that's what I like to think of his time was all about. It was a message about how life is beautiful when your time on something comes to an end, because at the end of the day, not everything will last forever, and one way or another, some things will come to an end in some way. A symbolic start and end, and Gorn is an example of this throughout the very series. Now, I'm akin to hear what you all think about what I had to say in this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I look forward to hearing what you lot think. Until then, have a good day, and I wish you well. Cheerio!